The Kindle scribe market is exploding with opportunities, and now is the perfect time to dive in. With our powerful tools, you can create fully customizable interactive PDFs for every puzzle tool we offer. In this video, I'll walk you through some creative examples to show you how you can customize the look and feel of your interactive links, making your puzzle books stand out in the marketplace. I'm using the maze tool for these examples, but the Kindle Scribe functionality works exactly the same for all of the other puzzle tools. First, let's show you what the default settings look like. So for the default settings, the index is called index, solution is called solution, and back is called back. And whatever text you put here for index is what's going to show up here on your puzzle list page. And you can customize this text as well by changing the text here. And you can set the font and the font size for your buttons, for the title up here, for this text, and for your puzzle list. You can also select between one, two, or three columns for your puzzle list. But let's mainly talk about the buttons and the customization you can do for those buttons. Let's check out this one. So the first thing you can do is change the location of these buttons. So what I've done is changed these values here for the location of the index and for the location of the solution slash backlink. So whatever position you have the solution is the same position you will have the back link. You can also choose to have rounded rectangles, and that's what that would look like. And here's an example with a different font being used for the text here. Of course, the answer page is gonna look exactly the same and you can put them on the bottom and round them. And you can change how your buttons look by changing these colors. So in this instance, we just had the background to be the white background and used black for the outline. And that's what it looks like when you do that. In this case, we stuck the solution and index together. And here's what it looks like on the answer page. You could also put them at the top and line them up with your maze, for example, or with any of your puzzles. And in this case, I changed the button color here. You can also stack them if you want on top of each other. And here's an example of doing that. In this case, I've set the button outline color and the button color exactly the same, so there is no outline. And for my last example here, I've stacked them on the bottom and I've set the button color and outline color to white. So now you don't have a button, you just have the text. So there's some examples of what you can do with the link buttons. So you can play around with all these different values and get something unique to you so your puzzles don't look like everyone else's puzzles. So go play with it, have fun, create lots of great Kindle Scribe content and get it uploaded to Etsy or your own website. If you have any questions about how to use the Kindle Scribe option or suggestions for future updates, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.